Hey, it's Steve, and welcome back to Steve's Trains. In this video, we're going to take a look at two more Athern 50-foot PS1 boxcars and do some quick five-minute weathering on them. In late 2020, I had a video on some new N-Scale Athern 50-foot PS1 boxcars, and I'll have a link to that video above and in the video description below if you want to see some additional road names on these boxcars. Anyway, Athern did send me a couple more of these 50-foot PS1 boxcars to look at this month, uh, including a Pennsylvania Railroad and a Delaware and Hudson version. As usual, these come in nice jewel cases and are well protected. This line of cars from Athern is a solid mid-range offering. You have lots of details, but they are mostly molded on and a paint job with very sharp and crisp lettering that is still readable even on a small N-scale car. The Pullman Standard boxcars were built from the late 1940s to the early 1960s, with a couple hundred thousand built for more than 70 railroads, so they are pretty much at home on any railroad set between the 1950s and the 1980s. The Atherton cars do a good job at replicating those cars, though I didn't actually go through and try to measure dimensions and locations of details, but they do look really good overall. Now, the Pennsylvania Railroad car did have some paint flaws on the roof walk, where the paint filled in some of the tiny holes on one end of the walk. Most of the cars I, I've seen have not had that issue, so it isn't very common, but something to watch out for. And you could try to clean that paint out with a hobby knife if you really wanted, but that isn't something that is really going to bother me personally, uh, especially after I do some weathering to the roof of the car. Otherwise, the paint job is really nice, and you can see here a close-up of the lettering and some of the molded on details. While the molded on details are a little oversized and the stirrups are obviously very oversized, that does make them incredibly durable and you aren't going to be breaking any of them off during handling. Most of the details do look pretty good and if you wanted to enhance the realism, cutting off those stirrups and replacing those with metal wire ones would be a pretty easy upgrade and would improve the overall appearance quite a bit. But again, since this is N scale, those kinds of things are really only noticeable in photographs uh, and not when you're standing four or five feet away. The undersides also have some molded on details, reliable body mounted McHenry couplers, and metal wheel sets. The NMRA recommended weight for a 50 foot box car is 1.1 ounces, and these weighed in at 1.2 ounces. I like to overweight all of my rolling stocks since that does provide for better operation, especially when you're pushing them through turnouts, and I usually like to use these stick-on wheel weights. You can easily pop off the bottoms of these boxcars, and I like to stick on either one uh, quarter ounce weight in the middle or one over each truck if I want an even heavier car. You can then easily pop the shell back on, and now you have a 1.4 ounce car that will track even more reliably. The bottom line is that these Atherton cars are a good compromise on price and detail, and with the metal wheels and body-mounted couplers, you will have reliable operation, even when pushing a long string of cars through turnouts. You can buy cars with higher levels of detail for more money, but with N-Scale, that higher level of detail is hard to see, and it is extremely easy to break off. Okay, as I mentioned earlier, I wanted to do some quick weathering on some of my rolling stock. While I do love to have my rolling stock you know, with a nice weathered look, actually weathering them isn't one of my favorite things to do. So I like using very quick and easy techniques that can give me a good enough look with very little effort. So here I'm using a wood stain and alcohol mix along with a couple shades of brown weathering powders. This weathering mix is available already made, but you can easily make your own washes as well. Just use a good quality paint or stain so you don't end up with lots of paint clumps in the wash. My camera did cut out when I was applying the wash to these two new cars I got from Athern, so I'll show you how I applied the wash to some of the other box cars I received last year. The process is very simple. I just paint on the weathering wash to each of the cars, trying to get good coverage. I also try to pull the brush vertically down the sides of the cars to create some streaks after I have that first coverage layer on. Then I simply set these aside to dry for a bit, and since they are alcohol-based, it does dry very quickly. Once the stain wash is dry, I take some brown weathering powders and brush those onto the roofs of the car, trying to kind of grind them into all the roof details the best that I can. I also put a little on the sides and use a lighter brown powder to hit the sides of the trucks as well. I usually don't bother weathering the coupler since it is too easy to gum up N-scale couplers and reliable operation is more important to me than looks. 
but weathering the couplers does add a lot of realism if you are careful. After the weathering powder was applied, I hit the cars with a dusting of Tester's Dull Coat to help seal that powder in place. I then repeated the process a second time since the weathering powder does stick a lot better after that first layer of Dull Coat has been applied. Anyway, you can see the final result here. This technique isn't going to win any awards, but it only takes a few minutes per car and you can easily weather a couple dozen cars in an hour or so. And you can always go back later on and add rust spots or other weathering details if you want. So you might want to give this technique a try if you're looking for a quick and easy way to get some basic weathering done on your rolling stock. I'll have a link to these Atherin box cars in the description below, as well as the weathering wash and weathering powders that I used here in this video. So anyway, that's a look at the Atherin 50-foot PS1 box cars in N-Scale. Uh, these are a really nice, solid option to help fill out your roster fleet. Uh, they don't have the really high-end detail that the more expensive cars do. Everything is molded on. But that does make them very sturdy, and so you aren't going to be damaging the, these very easily, and they will be very reliable in terms of operation for you. So they're really a nice option if you are looking to pick up some additional box cars for your layout, especially if you need to buy a lot of them, since they are relatively inexpensive relative to those higher-end cars that do have the more detail, but also do cost quite a bit more money. So anyway, hope you enjoyed the video, and thanks for watching. Bye. Mm -hmm.